uh, we are going to present uh, the uh, 10 years median follow-up update of the phase three trials on accelerated partial breast irradiation delivered using an IMRT technique, so an intensity modulated radiotherapy technique as compared to all breast uh, irradiation. We already presented this study five years ago, the five-year update follow-up, and this is the 10-year update. So uh, that, that, that's the main, uh, the, the main outcome is the um, IPS lateral breast tumor recurrence for patients, but we also present uh, the adverse events and the cosmetics outcome of the study. This is a, um, a very small trial, but it's a single center uh, trial, and all patients uh, were treated in an homogeneous uh, way. So all patients were treated this, using this step-and-shoot MRT technique, uh, a very easy uh, technique, easy to also to delineate uh, the, the, the target. Th that is another issue in uh, accelerated partial breast irradiation uh, concerns and, and issues, uh, using uh, um, five fractions uh, uh, any other day, 30 gray in five Gray, uh, in fine fraction of six gray per fraction. So as compared to um, a conventionally fractionated old breast irradiation, so um, patients receive 50 gray in 25 fractions and a tumor bed boost of 10 gray in five uh, uh, adding uh, uh, fractions. So that's uh, the, 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 main, the main methods. The quality assurance is really easy. We contour uh, organs at risk, uh, heart, homolateral lung, contralateral lung, homolateral breast, contralateral breast, with very, very easy treasures that we adopted and it, it, they worked very well. And uh, this uh, will be related also to, to results, obviously. So basically, we confirm uh, the, the main results that we already presented for the five-year update trial, uh, even at a medium follow-up of 10 years. So it's a, a cumulative incidence at 10 years that we are going to, to report. There is basically no significant difference uh, uh, between arms. The ipsilateral breast tumor recurrence rate is very, very low, uh, less than 1% of difference uh, at a uh, uh, median follow-up of 10 years. So basically, in uh, adequate uh, uh, selected patients, uh, an approach based on accelerated partial breast irradiation could uh, lead to, to an equivalent result in terms of disease control. At the same time, we present also the adverse uh, events concerning skin uh, toxicity. Uh, all the results were in favor of the uh, accelerated partial breast radiation arm, um, both at inacute uh, and uh, at um, the late adverse events. And finally, we report also about cosmesis, uh, both reported by patient and by physician. And in both cases, again, we observe a significant uh, results in favor of the accelerated partial breast irradiation arm. Um, basically, uh, using this uh, technique, uh, we obtain uh, satisfactory results in terms of cosmetic and late adverse events, uh, and it's very uh, clear the difference uh, even if you uh, check the, the patient reported uh, patient reported outcome. There is a 15% of patients that reported a fair cosmetic result as compared to uh, less than 1%. So it's, uh, we are very satisfied about these, uh, these results and this technique. I think that the clinical impact is it's very important, very clear. Uh, basically, this is another um, piece of the puzzle because we have got already outstanding published phase three trials, larger phase three trials that uh, suggest that accelerated partial breast radiation could be a good chance uh, uh, as compared to all breast. This is another, another uh, uh, piece of the puzzle. So uh, we really can obtain an equivalent control, less acute events, less late events, uh, a better cosmetics profile, uh, reducing the volume ir irradiated for patients, the overall treatment time. This is a schedule in uh, five fractions any other day. So basically it's uh, 10 days of, of um, schedule. Uh, but really, it, it reduced the waiting list, it reduced the burden for the patients, 
So this is, I think, the, the main relevant uh, adding uh, from these studies. And also the quality of life for the patients, obviously. That is a primary endpoint, uh, I think, in these patients, a very, very low risk of recurrence. Oh, basically, uh, I think that we have two points to discuss. The first one is the inadequate selection of patients. That is nothing about uh, uh, technique. So we have the recommendation from both for the European and the American Society for Radiation Oncology. So, so now we exactly know uh, who is the patient, the best patient for accelerated partial breast irradiation. Uh, so we have always to consider to offer a partial breast irradiation to uh, postmenopausal women with early breast cancer, PT1 and zero, uh, adequate surgical margins, uh, non-lobular. Uh, they are very good candidate to, to receive partial breast irradiation. And concerning the technique, it's something about uh, toxicity, it's something about adverse events. There are still some concerns in some schedules that use a twice daily regimens, uh, for example, the rapid trial, but this concern is very well studied, it's probably depend on the recovery time between patients, uh, between, uh, sorry, between fractions uh, and the irradiated volume of the uh, health tissue or the homolateral breast. So uh, this is a once daily uh, uh, regimen. It's very good results and probably the best choice uh, uh, to deliver partial breast irradiation. Yeah, I think that now we have to focus on the quality of life of patients. So probably uh, now we know that if the patients are very well selected, we obtain an equivalent control. Now we have to focus just on the uh, de-escalation of treatment that are based on the better uh, quality of life profile for our patients. I think that this will be the future in, in these patients. Oh, basically, um, if you perform a good quality assurance when you perform radiotherapy, uh, probably there are no limitations. There will be some cases in which you are not respecting organs at risk thresholds, so probably an accelerated partial breast radiation is not the best uh, approach. In that case, you can consider hyperfractionated low-breast irradiation or other solution. Otherwise, it's the best solution. Mm -hmm.